Before we begin, make sure you're subscribed, because new volcanic updates come fast, and Mount Etna is one of those systems you do not want to miss. Now, let's take a closer look at what's happening beneath one of the most watched volcanoes in the world. Because in the last few days, Etna has begun to behave differently, and scientists are paying extremely close attention. What we are seeing right now isn't random noise, it isn't background activity, and it isn't the normal restlessness that Etna is known for. Something has changed inside the volcano, and the signals are becoming clearer. Mount Etna, located on the east coast of Sicily, is one of the most active volcanoes on the planet. For decades, it has erupted frequently, sometimes violently, releasing fountains of lava that shoot hundreds of meters into the sky. It has been studied more than almost any other volcano on Earth. And yet, even with all our monitoring instruments, Etna still surprises researchers. It's a complex system with multiple craters, shifting magma pathways, and deep connected reservoirs that occasionally behave unpredictably. And in the last 48 hours, Etna's internal signals have intensified. Volcanologists monitoring the INGV seismic network started noticing a steady rise in volcanic tremor. Tremor is different from earthquakes. A tremor isn't a single event. It's a continuous vibration coming from magma movement. When magma starts pushing upward or circulating more aggressively, the ground produces a constant humming-like signal that seismic instruments detect. Think of it like the engine of a machine getting louder because something inside is running faster. That is what Etna is doing now. The tremor is rising, and rising consistently, without dropping back to its baseline levels. This type of pattern is important because Etna has a history of increasing tremor before eruptive activity. Not always, but often enough that scientists take it seriously every single time. The current tremor levels are higher than what the volcano has shown in recent weeks. They are also unusually stable, which suggests a sustained push of energy rather than short-lived disturbances. When you see a tremor graph that climbs and stays up, instead of spiking and falling, it usually means the system is building pressure. Alongside the rising tremor, another change has been detected. Gas emissions from the summit craters have intensified. Etna releases gases constantly, steam, carbon dioxide, sulfur dioxide, but the amount and type of gas matter. Recently, gas sensors around the summit have measured higher levels of SO2, which is one of the strongest indicators of magma rising toward the surface. Magma contains dissolved gases, and when it moves upward, pressure decreases and those gases escape. More gas often means fresher, hotter magma is making its way up. But one of the most interesting observations comes from thermal cameras pointed at the summit. These cameras detect heat signatures and over the last few days, they've shown elevated temperatures around the southeast crater, which is the usual troublemaker. This crater has produced some of Etna's most dramatic lava fountains in recent years. When thermal activity increases there, volcanologists immediately take notice. The latest images show a persistent heat glow stronger than before, hinting that magma is closer to the surface than usual. What makes this episode different is that all these signals, tremor, gas, heat, are increasing at the same time. Individually, they might not mean much. Etna breathes, pulses, and releases energy frequently. But when the signals line up together, the system becomes more concerning. Scientists use a combination of these measurements to predict if activity is escalating. And right now, the indicators are aligning more clearly each day. Another detail worth mentioning is the type of seismic activity being recorded. Small earthquakes have been detected around the summit, especially shallow ones. These quakes are minor, usually below magnitude 2 but their shallow depth suggests cracking in the upper part of the volcanic structure. When magma forces itself upward, it widens pathways and the surrounding rock fractures. That's when we start seeing clusters of small quakes directly beneath the craters. This pattern is emerging once again, which means the volcano is adjusting internally. 
Now, does this automatically mean an eruption is coming? Not necessarily. Etna has done this before, raising tremor and gas emissions without erupting immediately. Sometimes the system stalls, sometimes it releases pressure gently, and sometimes it surprises everyone with a sudden explosive episode. What scientists look for is consistency. And right now, the consistency is absolutely there. The volcano is pushing energy upward, and that energy must go somewhere. Let's talk briefly about Etna's magma system to understand why these signs matter. Beneath the volcano lies a complex network of magma pockets, pipes, and channels stretching several kilometers deep. Etna taps into both shallow and deep reservoirs, and the movement between these chambers affects the type of activity we see at the surface. When deep magma rises into the shallow chamber, as the tremor suggests, might be happening now the upper system becomes pressurized. The pressure can build slowly or rapidly, depending on gas content, temperature, and viscosity. Etna's magma is typically basaltic, which means it is relatively fluid. Fluid magma tends to produce fountains and lava flows rather than explosive eruptions, but occasionally, Pockets of thicker magma interact with gas-rich basalt, creating pressure spikes. In past years, these interactions have caused sudden high-energy eruptions that launched ash clouds thousands of meters high. The current activity doesn't yet point to anything extreme, but the ingredients that lead to rapid eruptions are becoming more apparent. Another factor researchers are examining right now is deformation, how the volcano's shape changes as pressure rises. Etna has sensitive GPS instruments placed around the mountain. These devices detect even millimeter level swelling. Recently, some stations recorded slight inflation on the eastern and southeastern sides. While the deformation is small, it is consistent, and deformation combined with elevated tremor is one of the most reliable eruption precursors for Etna. You might wonder, is the local population affected? Not yet. Most of Etna's unrest happens high on the mountain, away from towns and cities. But when lava flows do occur, they can threaten infrastructure or travel. Ash emissions are another concern, especially for Catania's international airport. In the past, even moderate ash clouds have grounded flights. If Etna transitions into an eruptive phase, aviation authorities will monitor the situation closely. Right now, there are no disruptions, but if the tremor continues rising, temporary flight restrictions may be put in place. The important thing to understand is that Etna's current behavior is unusual for this time period. The last few weeks were relatively quiet compared to the volcano's typical patterns. Then the tremor began rising quickly. If this trend continues, the volcano could shift from quiet to active with little warning. Etna has a history of doing exactly that, quiet for days, then suddenly erupting with a series of powerful lava fountains in the middle of the night. Scientists are not predicting a major eruption, but they are preparing for the possibility of renewed activity at the summit. The combination of elevated tremor, increased gas output, surface heating, shallow quakes, and slight deformation is enough to put the monitoring teams on alert. They are not raising the alert level for the public yet, but the internal scientific community is watching the instruments more frequently and more closely. For those familiar with Etna's patterns, what we're seeing now looks like the early stages of magma migration toward the surface. If the magma continues rising, it might break through the summit crater system. If it stalls, the volcano may simply release gas for a while before quieting down again. But the magnitude and duration of the tremor increase makes a stall less likely. The volcano has momentum right now, and that momentum tends to build toward an event. The next few days are critical. If tremor levels continue rising, if gas emissions intensify further, and if thermal signals grow hotter, an eruption becomes increasingly likely. Etna often provides a narrow window of warning, sometimes only hours before activity breaks through the summit. But right now we are in that earlier phase, where the mountain is breathing harder, the ground is humming louder, and the pressure is moving upward.
For residents of Sicily, there is no immediate danger. Etna is one of the most predictable active volcanoes when it comes to where eruptions occur. Almost all recent events have been at the summit, high above populated areas. But as we've seen many times, even a summit eruption can create ash clouds, lava flows, and loud explosive bursts that shake windows in towns miles away. For viewers around the world, this is a chance to watch a living volcano in motion, in real time through scientific data. Etna is active, restless, and changing by the hour. And as the seismic charts climb, the question becomes not if the volcano will respond, but when. The signs are there, the energy is rising, and the next phase of activity could be approaching. As always, stay observant, stay informed, and keep an eye on the monitoring updates. Etna is speaking again, and scientists are listening.